Hello, welcome to Avio's Journey. It is January 1st, 2024. Wow, we've made it. <laughs> I'm so excited to be starting out the new year, 2024. So much is going on. Uh, I hope that you had a great holiday, uh, and I hope you're having a great day today. You didn't party too hard last night. Um, tomorrow, right, the kids, for a lot of us, kids go back to school. I know around here our kids go back to school tomorrow, and we kind of kick back things off, although a lot of us were working last week, you know, from uh, after Christmas to the weekend, but uh, things kind of really rev up here in the new year moving on uh, tomorrow. So I'm very excited to kind of share with you everything that's going on um, in 2024 and kind of what to, I don't know, what to, to think about, if you will. And uh, so first I want to just kind of share with you some of the really cool things that we're doing. Uh, I have to share with you what we're doing with the VO's Journey Elite Academy. Uh, you know, we've launched today our $24 for 2024 uh, to join uh, VO's Journey Elite Academy for the first month 24 bucks to give us a try start it you know start out and see if you like it um you know we're 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 launching an all new curriculum and um and I, i've built an assessment system i think one of the challenges we as voice actors face amongst many is that there's not a lot out there that actually teach it or actually assesses where we are most of everything that we get when we work with a coach is what that particular coach thinks and and that's wonderful right that's that's a lot what we're looking for right we we look to work with somebody who either we want to emulate or we respect and you know their uh advice is invaluable okay absolutely agree with that i coach but i i wanted to create and it's probably the teacher in me uh something that could be done more on a uh a little less subjective because <laughs> everything we do in the arts is subjective okay uh, and a little bit more objective by creating an assessment where there um, is a rubric basically to say hey these are the things that you know we believe or at least I believe at a VOS journey Elite Academy that you know you should be striving for right to grow your voiceover business and get to those next levels right so you can get more work and grow and uh, these are the criteria that you need to do, and these are the steps you need to take. And the assessment kind of goes through, and you submit it, and you know uh, I go through it and uh, give you point scores on you know that submission, you know. So and then you get that feedback, and it gives you a really great snapshot of where you are right now and what you need to do to move forward. And the cool thing is, is the way, you know, we've structured the academy is that, you know, based off your assessment, you know, you get to be put into whether it's a beginning, intermediate or advanced class classes. And, uh, you know, those are tailored for you where you are at that moment. Does that make sense? And uh, so I'm really excited about the assessment system. And uh, I, I think it's really with our new curriculum, I think it's really going to help our students um, grow a lot faster because they'll know exactly what you need to do right at that moment, which is one of the difficult, the reason why I created all of it was because there's so, I found that the biggest struggle that most voice actors have, right. Is that they don't, what do we do right at this moment? What, what should I be doing? Right. Like, you know, the, the easy answer always, well, audition, try to get work. Right. I mean, we know that's something that you want to be working on, but how, you know, what if I'm not winning auditions? What if I, you know, how do I rev that up? How do I 10 X that? How do I, if you're just starting, how do I get my DAW down? How do I, uh, you know, set up a business? Um, you know, how do I, uh, uh, get better demos if I can't pay thousands and thousands of dollars? How do I, you know, there's a lot of things, right? But if you, let's say you're in an intermediate level, like, look, I'm, I'm getting work, but I, I want to get to that next level because maybe I make a couple thousand dollars a month, but I want to make five thousand or ten thousand dollars a month. How do I get to that level or fifteen thousand dollars, right? And and I, how do I start to automate this process? How do I build a strategy, right? That that grabs you know that prospects gets leads, then finds those leads, nurtures those leads. What's my sales conversion strategy? How am I building a client list? I mean, th this is this is kind of stuff as you grow in your voiceover business too. The business part. 
I mean, it's, it's always, it's a business first and foremost. So like learning how to run that business, right, is vital. So this is exciting to me. I'm very thrilled and, and I can't wait um, for you guys to come and try it out and, and, and be a part of this, our system and really help you grow your voiceover business. And, and the reason why I wanted to launch this, you know, especially for 2024 was because I think that this year really is uh, an, an opportunity for us to really shape our own business. I mean, I, I think that we can probably say, especially over the last three to four years, the platforms have really dominated everything. And, you know, for a lot of us, and especially our beginners to an academy, I mean, that's a that's a big place that we start with, right? Helping people get on the platforms, getting their content put together, meaning demos, samples, etc. But moving forward, right, especially as you grow your business, we want to take charge of the studio that we've built. Because remember, we're building a studio. We're voice actors, but we're voice actors working in our studio that we've built, okay? Whether it's in a closet, <laughs> a hobo fort, or you build out something a little bit more elaborate or whatever, okay? Um, it's still a studio, and that's an important distinction to remember. Your studio is your business. Okay. So, you know, putting together a plan, a strategy to run a studio. Remember, you're the voice actor for your studio, but that's that's what I think shifting our mindset for 2024 is really going to help generate more work and solidify, especially for those people out there who want to build something to maybe leave their job. All right. Maybe they want to have, you know, build something so they can retire a little bit faster. OK, they, they're they're they've been working at a job for a long time and they're tired. Uh, they got laid off. They don't want to go to work for someone else and feel, you know, they or whatever, you know, or maybe they like their job, but they're trying to build something for a few years down the road when they want to leave that job, right, and retire and do something at home. Like there's a variety of reasons that we do this for, but building this business in that way will help by putting together a strategy for a studio, running a studio. Okay, that doesn't mean that we're going to bring people in or have other people do voiceovers. I'm just saying that that, you know, if you look at it that way and step back, you start to think, okay, well, I need a marketing strategy. I need a strategy for when you know, here's a funny thing. When do you take breaks? I mean, we just had Christmas break and and now we're, you know, we just finished up New Year's or we're on New Year's today. I guess, just fin we're ready to go for 2024, people. Um, but right, we, we just finished these breaks from Thanksgiving to Christmas, et cetera. You know, it's funny when you're doing this, when you're running your own thing, you have to actually put into place your own rules. Because if you don't, you'll just work nonstop all the time. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with grinding, right, to, to build a business. But, you know, little things like that, I don't think about that when we are like our head to the you know grindstone and we're employees, right? Like employees do what they're told. We work hard, do what we're told, and we get paid for that but as business owners right we're employees in our business but we're the business owners so we have to put on that business owner hat too right and to like okay well i need to actually shape and run my schedule so this is exciting things that we're going to be going over 2024 and and also this youtube channel i mean i think that's you know that's the theme i, I want to really you know drive home this this year right is is building your studio your business as a voice actor, uh, and and how to build that business on top of your acting, because as an artist, as an actor, right, we're always going to work on our craft. There always can be you can always tell a story differently. You can always tell a story more effectively for a different audience, right? You can always uh, uh, work on you know how do you relay a message effectively. Um, and, and different genres, different areas. Also, you can always work on how do I, you know, start to niche down my efforts, you know, and how do I get that really good? How do I be like, there's so much things that we as voice actors will always be able to work on acting. And that's a huge part, like, for example, of our academy with the different levels now. But, you know, that artistry part, again, is a lifelong pursuit. 
but your 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 business stuff, right? The studio, building a a, a viable studio, that is something that you've got to um, uh, learn, right, and implement, or the rest of the business doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how good of an actor you are if you can't run the business, okay? Because the rest of it will fall apart, okay? Um, and then you'll always be subject to someone else's whims, right? You'll actually never have that freedom that you're looking for. So anyways, I'm very excited about this for 2024. Um, the link, uh, there'll be a link below for you to try out the VO Journey Elite Academy, that $24 for 2024. Very excited about that. And uh, I'm so happy that you are here in 2024, the first day of the new year, sharing with um, your time with me and watching this video. And thank you guys so much. Had, an, had a wonderful 2023. And uh, I know we're going to have an even better 2024. So have a wonderful rest of your day, all right? 